What's up, y'all? This, this 15 moves ahead coming to you with another video. Tonight, I want to talk about Hernando Cortez, him. I want to talk about Hernando Cortez, but I would like to talk about the secret to success and motivation. You see, in the 33 Strategies of War, number four is titled Create a Sense of Urgency and Desperation. The death ground strategy. Now, the fourth strategy in the 33 is based on Hernando Cortez. Now, if you know who Hernando Cortez is, then you are familiar with the period in history known as the Conquistadors or the Conquistadors. But let's talk about how to create this sense of urgency and desperation and why is it so important today. Robert Greene states, you are your own worst enemy. You waste precious time dreaming of the future instead of engaging in the present. Since nothing seems urgent to you, you are only half involved in what you do. The only way to change is through action and outside pressure. Put yourself in situations where you have too much at stake to waste time or resources. If you cannot afford to lose, you won't. Cut your ties to the past. Enter unknown territory where you must depend on your wits and energy to see you through. Place yourself on death ground where your back is against the wall and you have to fight like hell to get out alive. Let's talk about it. The first thing I want you to understand is that Robert Greene tell you you are your own worst enemy. And you're your biggest enemy because you waste so much time thinking about the future instead of engaging in the present. Oh my, oh my, the present is so fruitful, abundant. The presence has the seeds of success for the future. But since nothing seems urgent to you, since nothing seems urgent to you, you are only half involved in what you do. Now, the only way to change is through action and outside pressure. You ever seen somebody get served eviction papers? Notice how quick they start moving their stuff and trying to find money you ever seen someone lights get turned off you ever seen someone get denied a promotion at work you ever seen someone get put in a high stakes situation they perform a lot differently that's because there's too much at stake to waste time resources if you cannot afford to lose you won't 50 cents said it best get rich or die trying same concept you must cut your ties to the past. Cut it loose. Let everything else go. Preconceived ideals, belief systems, ideologies, whatever you have came up with in your past that got you comfortable in the present, let it go. And the story of Hernando Cortez is a very powerful story because Hernando Cortez told his men, you guys are either going to succeed on this island or you can take the ship and go home. They burned ships. They were not allowed to go home after they decided to stay with him. Cortez gave them an option. You can either go home right now on this ship or stay with me. And they decided to stay. And once they decided to stay, he burned the ships. And once the ships got burned, those soldiers knew they were in a high stakes situation, unknown territory, and they must depend on their wits and energy. And guess what? That period of time in history is known as the conquistadors, which is the Spanish word for conquerors because they conquered. They were successful. They had victory. Now, Robert Greene tell you, place yourself on death ground. This is something you have to do to yourself. It's kind of like a self-induced motivator. Like, I understand there's a lot of people, you know, on YouTube who do videos, who talk about, you know, inspiration, you know, the 10 steps to success, you know, the 15 ideas to getting up in the morning. All that sounds great, right? But Robert Greene is telling you, place yourself. Do it to yourself. Make yourself get up, have a why, have a purpose, and you will never need an outside force to do it to you because you will do it to yourself. Let's continue. On page 44 in the 33 Strategies of War, 
It states, For the soldiers, the ships were a crutch, something to fall back on if things got ugly. Let's skip down. Like Cortez, you must locate the root of your problem. It is not the people around you, it is yourself and the spirit with which you face the world. In the back of your mind, you keep an escape route, a crutch, something to turn to if things go bad. Maybe it is some wealthy relative you can count on to buy your way out. Maybe it is some grand opportunity on the horizon, the endless vessels of time that seem to be before you. Maybe it is a familiar job or a comfortable relationship that is always there if you fail. Just as Cortez's men saw their ships as insurance, you may see this fallback as a blessing, but in fact it is a curse. It divides you. Because you think you have options, you never involve yourself deeply enough in one thing to do it thoroughly, and you never quite get what you want. Sometimes you need to run your ships aground, burn them, and leave yourself just one option, succeed or go down. Make the burning of your ships as real as possible. Get rid of your safety net. Sometimes you have to become a little desperate to get anywhere. I want you to focus on something. In the back of your mind, you keep an escape route, a crutch, something to turn to if things go bad. This is why there are so many people with ideals. There are so many paralyzed entrepreneurs. There are so many people with inspiration, but they never act on it because of comfort. They never act on it because of a fallback. They never act on it because they are not fully involved for that kind of person. You know, those people who have the the plans at home on paper, you might catch them on their lunch break, you know, going over a, a plan to, you know, start a business, but they haven't even got their EIN. They haven't filed their incorporation papers every time they get a paycheck. There's so many steps to be taken, but this individual is so comfortable because it's a familiar situation. People hate to get out of familiar situations because that familiar situation will put them in unknown territory where you must depend on your wits and energy to see you through. Don't you guys understand that the, the pioneers, the conquistadors, the people who started the path for themselves all did this with one common interest, succeed or go down. You must find the root of your problem, which is yourself. Get rid of all your escape routes, your crutches. Lock in. You can do it. It's very simple. All it takes is to have the mind state like Cortez and his men did and get rid of all crutches. Burn the ships. Burn the ships. If you know you only have a certain amount of money and you know your opportunities, you must make the burning of your ships real as possible you have to understand that this insurance you have is a curse it keep you divided because a lot of people will have half involvement great ideas i mean purposeful ideas think about all the people who have grown up and they never acted on their ideas never acted on their inspiration Think of all the people who had an opportunity to do something that can serve the world, but they never act on it because of fear. Most people have that fear and comfort sets in. First thing they'll say, man, I ain't trying to, you know, get out there like that. I got to pay these bills, man. I got to pay these bills, but they'll be the same ones who go to work and say, thank God it's Friday. Oh, I'm so happy it's Friday, man. I'm so happy it's Friday. And then they get the paycheck. And then they see all the taxes taken out. They see those percentages, FICA, OASDI insurance, SSI insurance, the Fed tax. And these the same people, man, I, man, I can't stand this job. I don't like my job. But they have an idea that if they just took one step out, that idea can take away their job, make them independent and free. All right, y'all, I'm out of here. Just wanted to come on, shoot this quick video. I, I do have a course coming out. 
And I do have consultations coming out as well. I'll keep you guys informed. Keep a lookout. I'm out.